Hi everyone! Yesterday we didn't have a chance to talk about routing in Vue, so I'm doing this short recording today uh, to give you a short brief on how we can add another router to our front-end application in order to display the page with a meetup. Um, you can find, uh, you will be able to find all the related code inside Week 7 folder. Now I will just give a short explanation of what kind of the updates I did. So first, first thing that we need to do is to create a router similar to the one that returns information about all events. But we will create a router that returns information about one event only. So this is the router and I created it uh, by editing the roads inside the backend application. So I'm going inside our backend application inside roads folder, meetup.js. And here you can see I added the similar road as we had before with slash JSON and change render function to send, send function. That way now we have an API where we can fetch information about one meetup only. Now we will use this uh, API on our front end in order to build a new page for one meetup. So this page will be similar to the page that there is on the meetup.com. Uh, as you can see, if we are clicking on the event, our URL changes and we see the information about one event. So what, uh, that's what we are aiming for. How we can do it? First, uh, first thing, I'm going to the meetup card. And uh, I'm adding the router link around meetup name. Router link has a computed property meetup URL, which, is, which will be the new URL to our meetup page. So here I'm concatenating meetup with meetup ID. Let's take a look how it look, uh, looks like on a front end. So as you can see now, the name of is a link and if I will hover, I will see where this link uh, is going to and if I'm clicking the link the URL changes and uh, inside the URL we have an ID. So what did I do next? Next I changed the front-end router. I'm opening router index.js and as you can see uh, below home road I added one more road with meetup ID and here ID is a dynamic property, the ID of our meetup that we are passing in the URL. And uh, uh, I, I created a new component near uh, in the same folder as home.view. It's called meetup.view. So I'm connecting this new router to this new view component. Let's take a look inside this view components. You can find it inside views folder meetup.view. So it's it's similar to the component that we built before. The, the difference is that I created a new property in state which is called meetup and instead of fetching meetups I created a new action which fetch in one meetup only. And the important part here is that I'm calling this fetch meetup action inside created component and I'm passing inside the ID of the meetup that we can read from the URL. So I need to pass this ID from the URL inside the action so that we can fetch the correct 
meetup data from the backend. This is done with uh, to, to read this property from the URL. I'm doing it with a special view road property. So inside the road, I'm reading params and ID. And ID comes here from the router definition from this uh, from the name of the dynamic property. And the last part is to actually create this fetch meetup action to, to be able to fetch this data from backend. This is happening inside store in index.js. So now below fetch meetups, we have fetch meetup action that receives ID as a parameter. So now when we are calling backend URL, I am passing ID here. Please pay attention that the quotes are diagonal quotes now. This is in order to concatenate ID inside of the string. And after that, everything else is the same. I created a new mutation, set meetup. I'm passing result data into that mutation. And mutation is really simple. It is updating state meetup with the data that we received from the backend. That way, we created one more road inside our front-end application. If I will reload the page, we would be able to see information about one specific meetup. And if I will go to the inspection, to the view tab, we can see that the mutation that is happening here is set meetup. And after I'm, I loaded the state, there is a meetup object with the meetup data inside that we later display inside our component. OK. Uh, so uh, in, when you will be working on your homework with a display of the people, of person, of attendees, feel free to try to do the same and add another JSON to display the information about one particular person. That's it. Thank you.